Today I show you how to train your dog to brace, but before we do that, don't forget to subscribe and then click the little notification bell. Let's jump right into it. So the goal is to be able to put my weight on her shoulder blades and help me up or help me um, if I'm dizzy and I need to, you know, have a third point of anchorage somewhere. So the easiest way to start this is to just put your hand on their back without any force or anything and just get them used to having your hand there for maybe a little extended period of time. She will have to be parallel to me and not in front because when I get up I'll have to be sideways. So, get okay, come. Good girl, stay. So I'm just gonna push lightly, very, very lightly. Hello, we're over here. Harriet, Harriet, hi. Turn, hey, that's perfect, stay. Now, you know me by now, hopefully, um, I don't lower train, so I'm not gonna put treats in her face to hold her there. That is not how we do things here. We would rather teach the dog to think. Good girl. Why am I so adamant about not luring dogs? Because you're not teaching them to think. You're keeping them dumb as a doorknob. When you see a dog's true potential, whoa, that's amazing. Now I'm gonna put just a little bit of weight and I want her to become solid on both her feet. Good girl. I'm gonna repeat putting just a little bit of weight on her shoulders about 10, 15 times so that she understands through anticipation that weight is gonna come in there. Only when I have my a lot of the weight necessary for me to stand on her back and she's not moving and she's positioning herself right, then I will name it. Take your place. Whoop. There you go. So again, a little bit of weight. I wanna make sure those two feet are receiving. You wanna make sure that the weight is distributed between both front pause because I don't want to injure her when I do stand. So she really has to spread that weight on both her legs. Take your place. So that's why I do this kind of little bouncy bounce. I just want to see like this leg doesn't have enough. So you can see that the left leg is moving when I do this. So I don't want that. So I need you to position yourself. There we go. Good girl. This is something that can be trained like literally in a day. There you go. With non lure trained dogs, that is. <laughs> here it. I'm over here. Okay, pay attention. You farted. Ugh. Good girl. Good girl. So just a bit away. I'm just testing to see. Yep, those two feet, those two feet are stable. We're good. If you've been watching but don't know what Harriet uh, is, well, obviously she's a dog, um, but she is a Braholmer. The Braholmer is Denmark's national dog breed. Harriet is not a giant Labrador. She is from Denmark. There are only two Braholmers in Canada, and I brought them both in. It is one of the most amazing, not for the faint. Whoop, you have a loose foot here. There you go. Whoop, no, I don't like this position. There you go, okay. Again, I'm testing the weight. Okay. Good girl. If you have questions, ask away. I read comments, I like to exchange on them and have discussions, civil discussions, might I say. Uh, okay, awesome. You're a bit mushy here. Oh, good girl. Okay, I think we're gonna do a last one and then we'll need to go P-O-O-P for Mrs. Dinosaur here. Okay, hold on, you're mushy here. Come on, push. Okay, we're gonna go poop. 2,000 years later. Okay, so now I would call this brace 
and then click right after the word. Brace. Because I'm naming this, I don't need to give a lot of treats. This is her understanding the behavior and then just doing it. So I'm just gonna give one or two little treats. They're very small and that is enough to just train the name. So we're classically conditioning this, which means we're pairing the word with the action with the clicker. Brace. Boom. Whoops. No, you're sideways and all crooked. Okay. Brace. Whoop, that's mushy. So it's really important that you put your hand on the top of their shoulder blade. So this is actually the withers. So I'm putting my hand on the withers, putting some weight down and brace. Brace. Perfect. Brace. So another downside of having a performer is that they squish you. There you go. Brace. I know take her place is normally on the left side. I guess we can switch around, can we? Your feet are too close. Poop. Okay, brace. You can feel it in your hand if she's not in the right spot. You can feel it in her hand when she's not in the right spot because she's bouncy. When they really brace, they're hard. So that bounciness tells you that she's not, the, ba the weight is not balanced on both feet. Now this is solid, I cannot, bounce her. I can bounce her here, but I can't bounce her there because her feet are parallel and all her weight goes here. So brace. It might not be super obvious on the camera, but you will feel it if you train this. Take your place. I practice, I practice, I practice both sides because I never know which side she'll be on when I need to do this. Brace. Beautiful. That one was very, very perfect. So that's what I'm going to do. Get a bit too tight here. So you can see she's a bit bouncy here. That's because her feet are too... There you go. Perfect. Brace. So awesome. Now what is the cue? The cue is a command. Brace itself is a command. So we're still working on that. But then I'm going to use a visual command, which will be me uh, on the ground. Yeah, this is good. Brace every week lately and uh, you all know how Bear passed away on October 18 so it's been somewhat challenging. No. You're not perfect. Good girl. No, no, we're not. <laughs> Don't run away. We're not done. Brace. You're bouncy a bit. Brace. Brace. Good. Hi, you're so excited. Oh my god, that googly eyes out. Now that I'm adding the word, take your place, brace. Now I'm gonna do this because eventually I would be kneeling on the ground or uh, cross-legged or something, but I would be kneeling on the ground. I don't wanna kneel right away because I'm not there yet. Um, I just want her to get used to having some pressure almost eye to eye. Brace. Okay. girl. I like to train multiple cues at once just because I'm a multitasker. So I do the visual, my body, and the uh, verbal all at once. Then I can separate them apart, which is super easy. So if ever you have some cues that you need to separate, being visual and auditory, so a lot of people will train sit in this fashion, but if you just ask for it, the dog can't do it. Or if you just visually command it, they can't do it. So um, it's nice to be able to split those cues apart. Oop, you're mushy, mushy, Missy. Brace. Good girl. Okay. Brace. Good girl. The final part will be to actually put weight on her back so that I can indeed stand up. You coming, Mochi Mama? 
So it would look something like this where I'm on the ground and I need her help. Um, and I would call her over to take her place and she would be there. And then I would say, Harriet, brace. And then use her to get up. So I could be on the floor, stay in any kind of position. Normally it's when I'm like this for too long because I do sit like this forever. And then my legs die and I can't stand. So I'll say, Harriet, take your place. Brace. So, nope, nope, brace. Ugh. Oh. Okay. This is normally dinner time, so here it's more focused on, I want to go eat dinner. Brace. Brace. Ugh. Brace is a behavior that's really fun to train. It's practical. You can use it under all kinds of circumstances for all kinds of condition. Ciao for now. And don't forget to subscribe. Right? Right. Can I get a beautiful kiss? Bye-bye, Togo Boys. <laughs>